4438. But let's get started and kind of get into the Shaquem Griffin conversation and, and how he's evaluated and what it is you're evaluating him to do for your football team and what that might mean for his draft status. I think first and foremost, you have to evaluate him as the athlete. You look at the athlete, 4-3 time. Um, it's going to be faster in the stands because the handheld times that teams have is going to be faster than the official time. Then you're trying to look at the athleticism and movement skills that he displays in drills. But more importantly, what has he done on tape? And when you look at the tape, he's an edge rusher who has a ton of production. He plays hard. He has a motor. He has quickness. He has a couple of specialty moves that are his moves that allows him to get to the quarterback. The thing that is going to be the challenge is where do you play him as a pro, depending on your system? If your system allows for a player like that to plug in off the edge, then he's evaluated as such. If not, it then requires you to go work him out at his pro day and try and figure out what's the best position for him to make your team. I, I, I think based on what we've seen so far in the workouts, it's I'm pretty certain he's not going to be a guy you want dropping into space a lot. But he can do shallow drops from a linebacker spot and handle zone coverage. I saw him do that on tape plenty. Um, his ability to rush the passer is not, we have not really discussed it that much, but that blazing speed shows up in his quick get off. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw it in his 40 time, and, and it's the same way off the line of scrimmage. Tremendous closing burst. I think you could, a creative rusher, could, a creative defense coordinator could bring him in and do some delayed blitz type stuff. Uh, just kind of move him around, bring him in to, to operate in some games up front. And I do think he has rush potential as well. There he is. I mean, a defensive player of the year who filled up stat sheets from top to bottom. And the thing that, that really stood out is that if you had a play that started to last too long, his secondary effort was just going to be too much. There you see him defeating the block on the exterior. And, and there's the closing burst we talked about. And, you know, his ability to play sideline to sideline, it, it's, figuring it, it's figuring it out. And I think outside the box thinkers in the front office, they're the ones who have already seen this kid on tape, who watched him at the Senior Bowl, and who came in here with an idea already of what they wanted to do with him. Absolutely, because he has had a high level of production. He has dominated. He's dominated at a level where you want to, you can see it. And so it's really a matter of figuring out where he plugs it. and plays. Worst case scenario, he can be a dominant special teams player. He can cover kicks on kickoffs. He can do it on punts. There's a place for him in the league. And here's Richard Sherman's scouting analysis. If Shaquem Griffin doesn't get drafted in the first two days, the system is broken. He performed well at the combine, played well against high-level competition. I mean, and, you know, not broken. He gets drafted where he gets drafted, and then you go play. Brothers, his teammate, uh, of course, Shaquille there up in Seattle, cornerback. And Shaquem, your conference player of the year, and certainly someone who has had uh, – a great combine considering those bench presses. You had one GM say, hey, if he gets five, I'll be impressed. Goes ahead and puts up 20. And uh, here he runs a 4-3-8-40, which, by the way, guys, just went official. So officially a 4-3-8-40 for Shaquem Griffin.